What up, guys? It's your boy Peter. If you didn't know, you know me because like only my family knows me and like watches these videos. Just being honest, it's kind of sad, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Welcome to this video. I'm going to be talking about the SAT biology subject test. I took it last year, I think. Time flies. And I got an 800 on it, so I want to share with you some tips, tricks, and how I prepared for the SAT biology subject test. On hand, college board. Okay, let's get into this. So, the first thing we're going to talk about, I have some uh, like notes typed out here. So, first thing we're going to talk about is the exam format. So, all subject tests are 60 minutes. So, the biology test uh, in particularly is 80 questions, multiple choice. And the way it works is that there's actually, when you sign up for the, uh, uh, the exam on College Board, you'll be signing up for the biology E slash M. What is E slash M? E stands for ecological and M stands for molecular. So, there's two versions of the test that you take. And you sign up for both, like for both, like e biology slash M. And then on test day, you will decide whether you want to take the ecological version or the molecular version. So how that works is that on test day, the first 60 questions will be the same for both versions of the test. You'll be going through, you answer to 60, and then it'll be like skip to 81 for the molecular section, and then or just do 61 through uh, 80 and that'll be the ecological section. So you do either the 61 through 80, which is like the ecological section, or you do the 81 through 100, which is the molecular section. And the last 20 questions are, deter are the set point for that ecological or molecular version. In my opinion, there's not really a huge difference between the two. You just have to, like, because if you do choose the ecological part, you still have to know all the molecular stuff too for the first 60 questions. So you're gonna have to study both or both like topics, I guess, or general topics anyway. So like, it's not a, it shouldn't be a critical decision in determining your score. But if if you have one that's more comfortable, I particularly am more comfortable with the molecular side of biology, so I chose molecular. But if you're interested in ecological, then choose ecological. It's not don't don't sweat about it. All of it. Just kidding. So how did I prepare for the AP or not the AP? Oh shoot, not AP. How did I prepare for the SAT uh, biology subject test? So basically I took two biology classes my junior year, so that really ingrained a lot of knowledge of biology within me. So I, I took AP biology and AP environmental science, so I'll talk about both. So AP biology is very conceptual and it teaches you, and a lot of the questions on the exam are concept based, so they're not really looking for the nitty gritty details that force you to memorize everything. An SAT biology subject test on the other hand is more like less, a little less conceptual, but it still has concepts on it, and it's more towards that memorizing kind of stuff that, like all those big words and stuff. So I have some topics that I think you should definitely like look into. If you're just taking AP Bio, then you need to go a little bit deeper in these topics, and that's human anatomy and physiology. So that's like your cell types, your tissue types, your organs, even the reproductive system, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and then the evolutionary knowledge and history, that's also something, like I memorized the phylums, kingdoms, all the taxonomy stuff, and I also like looked at the history of life on Earth, so basically how life has sort of evolved and which animal or which species came from, or which like group of organisms came before the, this group of organisms, that's also good to know. And also your biomes, you want to know just general your types of biomes and sort of their characteristics. You don't have to memorize like details, or like degrees, Fahrenheit, all this stuff. But you don't have to like go too in depth, but just definitely know your biomes. Also, you want to know your plant anatomy, reproduction, and hormones. So plants are covered in AP Bio, and to pretty my teacher went over it in pretty good depth. But you want to make sure you know all like how the plant life cycle works and just the different parts of the plant, and that would be very helpful and on the SAT biology test. And also like more detail bases. Of details of glycolysis, respiration, photosynthesis. Generally, my teacher uh, taught us that, like, or he went over the details, but he said that look at the big picture. So, 
I would not stress about the details, like the different enzymes, especially in glycolysis. And there's so, so many enzymes. Don't worry too much about the details, but just like big, big words within those details, like NADPH, what's oxidized, what's reduced, you know, things like that about like those different processes. And I also took AP Environmental Science. AP Environmental Science is definitely towards the ecological side of biology, so it's like essentially covers most of the stuff you see on the ecological, any ecological question and the biology, those 20 questions of the ecological section of the AC, their essay as well. Standard essays. But yeah, it'll focus on the ecology side. So now I'm going to talk about a very important part of subject test, and that's the scoring and then the scale or curve. So the biology, so for the big, biggest difference between the SAT and ACT, like the normal SAT, and the subject test are, is that the when you miss a question on like the ACT or the SAT, you don't get points counted off. It's the same as if you skipped it, but on the subject test, if you miss a question, you lose one minus one fourth. If you skip a question, you just get zero points, but if you get it right, you get one point. So that's like the biggest difference is that losing points when you miss a question. So it's better to leave a question blank than guess and get it wrong. But for the SAT biology, to get an 800, you have to be really close to perfection. And like, I think the scale is about like, well, from what I've seen is that if you skip three questions and get everything else right, you should be good for an 800. But it's really like, it's a really tight curve. It's a tough curve, honestly. But you have to just aim for perfection when you practice. And I'm gonna tell you guys how I practice. The first thing is I use Quizlet to just run over the basic stuff that I learned in AP Bio and AP Bio Science. And then I also, I took practice tests. So I bought the official SAT biology subject test from practice book from College Board. So that book is about $15. I feel like most review books and stuff are $15. It's honestly, it's kind of expensive in my opinion for just a test that you're going to take and get away. But and, but you can always try and sell it afterwards, I guess, for a cheaper price. But uh, I use that test, and it has, contains two real practice tests. And what I did is I would, after I finished studying all the material and I felt confident with all the material, I would go through and take those practice tests. And I would star every question that I got, uh, that or not star the question that I struggled with on my run through. And then I would, after I grade the test and I mark all the questions I got wrong, I would keep like a little, on a sheet of paper, I would just write down all the uh, questions that you struggled with or you missed and write down why you got it wrong or what thought process made you get it wrong or caused you to struggle with it and then what topics you need to study and go and study those topics in further detail. And it might take a while, like you might just not need one sheet of paper, you might need like four, five, four or five sheets of paper, like that's what, yeah, the struggle is real guys, but yeah. You're gonna need to, it might be difficult at first, but maybe on that second round, second practice test, you get really close. But aim for 800. You wanna get, you wanna really focus on every single mistake, every single simple mistake you make. You wanna really make sure you make none, because you can't afford to make it for 800. Five minutes of breathing. Most of your guys are probably coming from like, a YouTube run of like 10 videos or like 20 videos or 30 videos honestly like for real like you can be on YouTube for a long time but yeah so just take a break press your eyes for a second this video is kind of boring and long so oh yeah let's get back into it so now we're gonna uh, I'm going to talk about one other book that I bought for the SAT or subject test for biology I took I bought the Barron's SAT biology book and the Barron's book is, I think it's pretty good from what I read online, it was better than the Princeton one, but honestly I didn't buy the Princeton so I can't speak for the Princeton review, because Princeton review is a pretty credible source I guess, but the SAT Barron's book was pretty good, especially about those details, about the phylums and other things, so that's very important I would say, but it's not like obviously integral, especially if you have like a tech, AP Bio textbook or an AP Environmental Science textbook to study, or really the AP Bio textbook is the most important. But if you can't, like, don't buy, obviously don't buy a textbook, but like maybe ask your teachers at your school, maybe they can lend you one for a while and that'll save you money and help you get a good score. So last but not least, I want to talk about some final tips. So the first things first is that obviously watching a video 
like no matter how many times you watch a video about someone telling their tips for an ACT, SAT, like you watching it, no matter how many times you watch it, you're not going to like be any more prepared to get a good score. Like you have to actually sit down, put in the work and take notes, use a Quizlet, take practice tests, review those practice tests. You have to really, really, really focus and put that time in. Time, dedication equals a better score. And obviously you might not get it the first time. Like maybe you come out of the SAT body, you had a bad day, and maybe you don't do well. And you don't get your good score. But you can always go back and give it a second shot. And it's just gonna take great effort, perseverance. So that's the first tip obviously. And then second tip, probably just or secondly, I want to go over some uh, just other things that are important before any test. So first thing you want to get a good night's rest before, like sleep is huge. Like you can watch TED Talks about this. Sleep is super important for you, especially for concentration before a big test. And these subject tests aren't like as draining as a standardized test, like as ACT or SAT, like the, those exams, but it's still an hour of concentration. So you want to concentrate. And the last thing, uh, you want to stay hydrated and eat well because hydration is really important if your body's a lot of made up of a lot of water hopefully if you're preparing for the ap or sat bio, bio test you actually know that but if you don't hydration is very important eat well eat properly get a sugar rush in there maybe beforehand but don't not too much not only sugar gets your carbs protein protein's always good you guys come from big man i'm just kidding now. okay but yeah just relax, take a few deep breaths before the exam. Yeah, just relax and you should, you'll be fine. So, good luck. Feel free to like and subscribe, or unlike, or dislike, and unsubscribe, I don't know. Whatever you feel like doing.